Good morning, everyone. I just finished watching Mayim Bialik's uh, recent post about how she sees things and it took October 7th for her to see things. And I'm just so, I don't know, I don't understand why it has taken so long for people to see what a lot of us have been screaming for the last four years, especially, and I hate to say it, especially the progressive Jews in America. You thought marching with these leftist organizations meant that you were one of them and that they supported you. You failed to read the charter of Black Lives Matter that had anti-Semitism written in it from the beginning. You failed to notice the anti-Semitism at the women's marches by Linda Sarsour on stage, one of the people on the board of the women's march. You failed to listen. You failed to see. And what, now you see? Now you're awake? You're disappointed in the world. I'm disappointed in you. I'm disappointed that it had to take a massacre of the Jewish people for your eyes to be opened. A lot of us that escaped socialist countries have been smelling the same smells here in America for years, and we've been trying to tell you. Why didn't you listen? Oh, they're just conservative voices. They're weird. They uh, don't make sense. They're this, they're that. They're conspiracy theorists. I want you to ask yourself why it took a massacre of our people for you to listen. Maybe it's time you listen to voices again that are different than your own, just like we listen to you. Do not discount the voices of people who have a different life experience than you and who, yes, might know more than you. Growing up in your privileged, using your own word, in your privileged American safe spaces, never actually having experienced war yourselves, never having actually experienced anti-Semitism yourselves, and just turning a blind eye to what exists in so many places in the world because what, you wanted to fit in? Because what, you thought it made you a good person, it felt good? You need to wake up. You need to call out anti-Semitism. You need to call out Islamic extremism. For those of us that have lived in Iran, or places like Iran, and have actually suffered under these extremist ideologies, you cannot fix a problem if you don't make the correct diagnosis. We must make the correct diagnosis. We must listen to each other. We must be united. So I'm sorry that you're just waking up. I'm sorry that you're devastated. I'm sorry that you're disappointed. We've been feeling that way for years. Welcome to the club.